So hello guys and welcome here to a new video and today we are going to talk a bit about ZK Sync and their ecosystem rewards because in the past we saw it with Arbitrum and we will see it with Layer Zero as well. The protocol itself is very likely to distribute also an airdrop allocation to its most valuable protocols itself and today we have a look on a few protocols that I think will very likely get an allocation from the ZK Sync team. And we also have a look on the Arbitrum and their past, how they distributed the tokens according to the protocols, as well as looking a bit into Layer Zero and their current RFP project that they are going to do with the governance. And well, if that sounds interesting, I suggest you should leave a like, comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot. And without further ado, let's actually get started. So. First of all, it's very important to mention that with the layer zero airdrop, also a lot of those protocols will receive an airdrop allocation for its user base, which means if you ever used the protocol in the past and you did a swap, you traded NFTs, you supplied liquidity, or you just simply used their bridge, you are entitled to a certain allocation of layer zero tokens. And we saw it in the past as well with Arbitrum doing the same. Zero pointed out that the protocol RFP is just one aspect of TGE and more information about the token distribution, including sync and user distribution and future protocol distribution will be announced soon. And that again tells us, for example, for the layer zero community, that there is a bit more to come. And also looking at the past, for example, we had the Arbitrum airdrop, which is now I think over two years since it happened, but here we also have 1.13% which went straight into the DAO's building apps on Arbitrum and that via the airdrop to the DAO treasury address. And if we go on to the spreadsheet, for example, that they linked in their documents, we can see pretty much how many of those protocols actually were included in the airdrop itself. And there were 147 protocols on Arbitrum that got at least 75,000 token. Obviously, they looked at the TVL, the interactions, the swaps and everything to determine who gets the most amount of token. And if we see, for example, the treasure got 8 million as well as GMX and then we have Uniswap, SushiSwap. So that pretty much tells us we definitely need to look at the TVL as well as the swap volume of the protocols itself. And there are some tools out there which make that very easy for us to do. And one of them which we already featured in a lot of videos is Trusta itself. And here you have a few protocols which are shown with the TVL itself as well as the interactions on the protocol itself. And here again, for example, you have different protocols with different amount of interactions. And if we looked at Arbitrum at layer zero, well, it's fairly important to look at the TVL and also at the swap. And that, for example, is why I selected, for example, SyncSwap that we are going to talk about in today's video. But there are even more tools out there which are very helpful. For example, the Dapwoda, and that pretty much is again not the same thing but here you have a lot of different protocols where you even can get stats for example we want to know a bit more about pancake swap and then we head on to the stats button and then we see that they are pretty much on three different chains but we only select the zk sync hour for example and then we see the balance the volume the transaction at the last 24 hours we obviously can select 30 days to get a bit more of a wider idea how often the protocol actually is being used and for example that also tells us that pancake swap for example would be a good idea to keep in mind and maybe do a few transactions over on zk sync itself and that pretty much brings us now on to the rfp for example again back from layer zero where we did participate in a few protocols and got an allocation and one of them was for example layer 3 where we did the quests and also are pretty much guaranteed an airdrop and again that is also one thing that you need to keep in mind is 
protocols, which are also going to reward you with their own protocol tokens. And there are definitely a lot of bridges and DeFi applications that will reward the user base with their own airdrop. And we also have a look at a few in today's video because pretty much you are getting two airdrops in one and that is the thing that you want to do is saving on gas fees and just making the most out of your time while doing it and we have here for example our two which is a bridge we already made a video about specifically but we are going to feature it in today's video and here you can bridge from zk sync to any given chain and the same goes to zk sync you can for example bridge from linear to zk sync and for that you also are getting rewarded with points and those points will be turned into token in the future because they are also going to do an airdrop and those points play a big factor as well as for example if this protocol now gets selected from zk sync itself that they are getting an allocation regarding the rfp portal program we very likely are going to get zk sync token for simply using the bridge in the past and obviously the more volume you have made yourself and the more transaction you have made the bigger the allocation of the zk sync token regarding that protocol will be and then we also have orbiter which is a bit the same we have here also a point system where we are farming points for their own airdrop as well as pretty much simply interacting pretty much to bridge to zk sync that you for example bridge from to zk sync so you already have two transactions and then you try to get a certain amount of volume and you should be on the safe side and then talking about layer 3 well it's fairly easy what you can do over here is simply minting the cubes you also can filter specifically for zk sync itself because there are currently 20 quests out there that you could do some of them reward you with a cube some just with the XP, but definitely keep that also in mind because you can also just do swaps, for example, and doing swaps might even qualify you for the community airdrop for ZK Sync because the more you do, the more you will be rewarded. And that is also for all the different protocols, not only for layer three itself, but for example, Maverick Sync Swap, the more you pretty much swap, the more in volume you are doing the very likely and the higher chances are that you are qualifying for the airdrop as well as increase your allocation itself and that is fairly important because we want obviously to get the most out of the airdrop itself and here we also have maverick which is also included for the layer zero rfp and yeah that pretty much tells it that the protocol is often used and also should be considered using it on zk sync and here again what can you do you can do transactions you can swap your tokens around as well as supply liquidity over on the platform itself and again supplying liquidity in my opinion play one of the biggest factors regarding the community airdrop itself because supplying liquidity is not only helping the protocol itself but also zk sync in the end because the more liquidity there is on chain the better the chain is performing as well as generating revenue for the developer team and that pretty much tells us that providing liquidity is very important talking about big protocols over on zk sync i think one we would definitely need to mention is sync swap because they were since the intercept interception of zk sync hour pretty much live and already had a lot of volume as well as um, pool liquidity and again with that there was also a reward program which launched and there pretty much you could farm their token and depending obviously on they manage the airdrop you simply will also receive tokens for interacting with the protocol on a daily basis as well as for supplying liquidity over on SyncSwap. And again, looking at the APR, it's not the highest, depending obviously on what you are selecting as from tokens. But for example, if you just want to play it safe, you can get 4.1% on your USDT, USDC, for example. At that, meanwhile, you are getting an airdrop. And that is pretty much, in my opinion, something you should consider because 
Regarding adult farming, it's always trying to get the most out of your money that you are spending and pretty much spending money means also providing liquidity because if you select a pair which could go down, for example, Ethereum and USDC, you pretty much select that as the liquidity while well, you could risk losing your money during that process. But if you, for example, select stable coins, well, that most likely is going to be stable as it tells and you earn an APR on top of that, which is very nice in my opinion. <coughs> Talking about protocols where you can perform trades, well, I think Satori is one that you also should keep in mind because they are going to do their airdrop on Zika Sing, if I'm not completely mistaken, regarding their own protocol token. And also, they are one of the biggest aggregator on Zika Sync regarding volume itself. So that's also definitely an idea to keep that in mind to do some trades over there. How they are doing the airdrop is fairly simple. They are doing a point system. You got points retroactive, which were before the first season. And right now the first season is live since April the 1st. So that will close in three months and three months from April the 1st, better to say. And in that time, you have pretty much all the time in the world to farm yourself some points. The points are generated on volume and also transactions. And again, if you qualify for, for example, the Zatori airdrop itself, it is very guaranteed that you also will get the allocation of the ZK Sync airdrop for the protocol. Talking about airdrops we saw in the past, Zero Land being an airdrop itself and also being a decent airdrop, which also still lets them with a lot of liquidity over on ZK Sync. As you can see, the total market size over on ZK Sync is almost 20 million. And that is again almost a guarantee that they are going to receive tokens if ZK Sync is going to reward the community. And again, that is very high and here pretty much what you can do it's like compound or rv you can pretty much supply any of the given assets and take out the loan against other assets and yeah do whatever you want with them but that's yeah almost everything we have zirion which is going to do their own chain itself but also is a protocol which already is used by a lot of people in the past you have you have the bridging there you also have the swapping there. And again, what you want to do is simply cut up the volume and the transaction itself. And who knows, maybe there also will be a second airdrop regarding ZK Sync in the future. And the more you have done, well, the bigger your allocation most likely will be. But nevertheless, that was it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. And let me know which protocol you are currently preferring over on ZK Sync Hour. And until next time, bye-bye.